Hi everybody, I'm Anthony Farg, and welcome to the something episode of the JVHS podcast. I'm giving it a guess. I'm gonna, giving it a guess, it's either 11 or 12. We could just count them. I, I don't want to do that right now. I'm Anthony Farg, your host. Uh, um, Bob. Caleb. I'm Mike Lars Mora. Hey, that's that one. Um, camera. Uh, Kanye. <laughs> and our supreme unallied leader. Hi. Very scrumptious lunch you got there. Leftover shrimp. I love shrimp. Shrimp is amazing. And our new member, Mr. Bones. He can't speak. <laughs> And today, we're all going to be talking about a couple things, starting with a user-submitted topic, which we're just going to go through really quickly. Um, well, two. I think I'm just going to go through both of them, since they're snack-related. Do you guys like baked chips or not baked chips? I've had um, baked delays, and those are pretty good. The ones, it's like a special brand of chip, and it literally just says baked, and they're like... They taste different. I hate big chips. A lot of them are like You're rock late. hard sometimes, and I can't bite them. So, I th- are you talking about kettle cooked? Never mind. Wrong thing. Kettle cooked are really hard. Baked are like the same texture, but they taste different. Then I still like regular chips. Okay, Peter. Um, I like baked. Yeah. I don't exactly have the context on this one. Really. Okay, baked. Normal chip. I'm sure you had like a Lay's. Yeah. Baked is like. Does anyone have a good way of explaining it? It's like, really it's like less, yeah, really crunchy, less salty. It's a square, it's like not as thin, it's more thick. Yeah, thicker, they're less salty. They're, they're like, they're built a little more like crackers than they are yeah. chips, but they have the taste of a chip. Yeah. Which we, would you like that more, Michael? It depends on the flavor, honestly. Normal Lay's. So like just uh, normal Just normal Lay's, except it's thicker, a little le- a, like, built like a cracker, and it's um, a little less salty. What? Yeah, I guess. I mean like a, like a graham cracker. Well, no, more like a like a Ritz cracker. Yeah, I can see that. You can see that working. Um, I like baked Lay's better. And also, a fun fact, you know baked Lay's are actually not baked. Oh, for real? Yeah. Uh, are they just fried and they like flavor them differently? I think so, yeah. I remember I saw that on a YouTube video. It's whack. Is that false advertisement? Mm-hmm. Technically. Could we sue? Yeah, if you wanted to. I think we can. I will take it. That would be a good... Yeah, I'll look into that as a form of income for the podcast club. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love baked lays, but I can't afford them. So, yeah, normal lays. Okay. I love both. So, it's an in between type deal. I like both, but I guess I like baked better. Like oh, lays. Oh, I was like, glazed. Like you just like the texture of the baked one more? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go with baked, baked um, chips, um, baked um, lace, yeah. You just like them more? I know, okay, so the thing is, like, I, I like a little bit of, now, does baked have, like, a little bit of crunch to it? Because I like yes. crunchy. Yes. They have a crunch. I like the crunchiness to my chips, as well, as well as, like, the saltiness to it. And I feel like the combination of both is amazing. Yes, they're nice. You want to step, Miguel? Baked or not baked chips? The baked or baked? I mean, baked or not baked? Yeah. I like them deep fried. Let's go. Yeah. All right, that's that's Miguel for y'all. Um, he he just walked into the classroom. All right. Opinions on Dr. Pepper? Yeah, it's, I'm gonna give you like two words. <laughs> Rest in peace. I like it. Okay. I like him. Okay, so two likes so far. Dr. Pepper? Yes. I do. I do not like. Okay, one dislike. I don't like it. Two dislikes, two likes. Dr. Pepper. So you know that Dr. Pepper is just Coke and root beer. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? and I mean, we, we tested it out. What? I'm our learning dad, so many things today. Our dad, he <laughs> hates root beer, like with a passion. So our our younger brother, he mixed he mixed um, root beer and Coke, and to see if our dad would notice, and he didn't notice. So when we told him there was root beer. He was absolutely devastated. So that's how we know it's. In tears at yeah, having to drink devastated. root beer. Because he loves yeah. Dr. Pepper and hates root beer. I love Dr. Pepper. Great. This is like Dr. Uh, can you, okay, What's so question, bro? Sorry, two dislikes, off. three likes. Pepper. Do you like or dislike Dr. Pepper? Mm. I would have to say I dislike it only because like it's not it's not a drink that I go to. 
Yeah. So I guess Valid. like. I guess you could say that, that that's kind of biased, but I guess. So even yeah, Steven so. so far, three dislike, three like. I like Dr. Pepper. Four <laughs> like, three dislike. Like, Dr. Pepper's goaded. Five like, three dislike. Peter, did you already answer? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Um, I, uh, I hate Dr. Pepper, I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't like root beer either. But I don't like Dr. Pepper. I feel like it's good with ice cream though. So four or five. Mr. Gunsey, do you like or dislike Dr. Pepper? I like diet Dr. Pepper. I've never noticed the difference between diet stuff and non-diet stuff it's in taste. Sweet. Is it really? It's it? Yeah. Huh. I can't tell the difference and my cousins call me insane. Like, I'll drink them and be like, this is the same, this is the same thing. I think it's just because my tongue's really set. Like, it picks up sweet stuff a lot, really easy. I don't know. Sugar and soda is too sweet for me. Okay. I will, I'm going to go get a quick consensus on that. So, what was the consensus? Um, it seems like it, it's a like. It's 6-4. So, um, the podcast club mildly approves as a whole of Dr. Pepper. It's, I w it's not a firm like. It's not a firm dislike. But it is a like. So, I'm going to say mildly approves. No, because it is 4-6. A majority oh, does approve. Um, I'm going to talk about this really quickly, even though it's not on the board. Do you guys, like, I, this is just general. This is to everyone. How many of y'all, like, like a diet flavor more than the normal flavor? No. No? no? Or, like, do you taste a difference at all? Because I, I, there is a difference. Okay. I've never had a diet like yeah, okay, so some people do like the diet stuff more. It's, it's, it's pretty common. I've heard that before, too. Uh, Mr. Gunty likes diet Dr. Pepper more, so. I, I, don't, I don't drink the diet stuff, because I don't know. I just, I've never noticed much of a difference, but I, if it's bad for me, sure. I don't care, I want it. <laughs> okay, now, um, best Halloween costume. I actually didn't notice too many. No, this year. Yeah, like at this school. Oh, I, think my, oh. I, didn't oh. I didn't see that many. Yeah. yeah. I remember seeing Michael. Myers I feel like the best he's one. He's like playing like a little radio around playing oh. the Michael Myers thing. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Someone from another school was famous, like inflatable. Oh. I remember seeing a shark, and then there were kids that would go up to the big shark inflatable and just smack the top oh. of its head repeatedly. Oh my god. It was quite. It was quite violent. I also saw that cow costume. You remember the one from the video? Yeah. I saw that, like, around the school. As for the best one, I think, yeah, I'm going to give it to Miss Crespo. Party. I don't know if anyone saw it, but Miss Crespo was dressed like Nezuko from uh, Demon Slayer, and it was oh. perfect, yeah. on the dot. I didn't see it. it was spot on. Like, she had the whole getup, the kimono, everything. Yeah. It's very good. I liked it. Um, didn't see any very interesting ones minus that. Yeah. yeah. A lot of you know those neon costumes that are just lines and sticks. Yeah. A lot of people were wearing that. Um, I, as for in public, like not in the school, the only one I really saw that I noticed was this guy on stilts walking around our neighborhood. No. It was it a baby shark. Yeah, a baby shark. Yeah, someone, someone was dressed as a baby shark and people kept slapping the top of his head. Oh, hey, Erickson. <laughs> Erickson, would you like to appear on the JVHS podcast? Yeah. You want, you, you want, you don't consent? My bad. Erickson was never here, everybody. Have a good day, guys. Happy Friday. Erickson says happy Friday, but he wasn't here. <laughs> Does someone have to edit him out? No, I, I think he's just joking. All right, so we have seven minutes left. Um, Let's go I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a quick debate about uh, not debate. I'm gonna go on, a, go on a quick rant. Does anyone? I mean, I know the people in this room have already said it, but how many of y'all actually like genuinely celebrate Thanksgiving as Thanksgiving and not just like an extra large meal? Yeah. Uh, okay, Miguel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mike, Peter. <laughs> That's it. Danny? Caleb? You do? Scoochie? That too. Alright, so um, I feel like Thanksgiving has kind of fallen out of 
its its former glory, and also it's being. No, it's just being consumed by Christmas. Like I walked into Michael's, like to get some art supplies. It's all Christmas. No, the 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 art store. I walked in to get some art supplies. My mom always goes to the seasonal decoration section. It was Halloween, and there were Christmas decorations. There were not any Thanksgiving decorations. There was just a section of leftover Halloween stuff that they didn't sell yet, and then just line to line, aisle to aisle, Christmas stuff. That ain't right. <laughs> that is not right. Yeah. I think Kyle mentioned that Home Depot had their Christmas decorations up months before Costco. Costco, Halloween, they had all the Costco, trees. Costco, Costco, all the trees. Right. That ain't right, dog. Well, you gotta be fair. Trees do die. But they were the same. The ones. synthetic ones. Costco don't sell real trees. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Only the pumpkin patch sells real trees, and yeah. they already stopped selling pumpkins, wait, wait, so they're probably of, selling them right now. Speaking of, did you see the pumpkin patch like off of Limonite? Yeah, it got. I think it got more funding. It it like, got it got pretty big. It got packed too. People started working there. I lo- I know a lot of people that work there. I was gonna work there. I was gonna. I'm probably still gonna work there because they do the Christmas yeah. one now. Yeah. Cause uh, yeah, so now you can just sell trees and feel bad about yourself for selling trees in November. <laughs> Another thing. It's not Christmas yet. <laughs> can can I just mention? I realized at last minute a lot of people are out buying trees, right? So why buy them now? So that way you can avoid the mob later on. Okay, whatever, whatever. Anyways, continuing. Halloween is the only thing holding back Christmas from being the only holiday. The emos, we're holding you back. The emos are, you know, it's a Tumblr post. Yeah. It is. I stole this from a Tumblr post. I don't know what their username was. I'm not going to credit them. My bad. It was Tumblr. It's Tumblr. It's all free speech. Anyways. Now that we got that over with, I'm going to talk about something. Well, I'm not going to talk about it. Peter and Mike are going to talk about it because they've been wanting to talk about it for a while. Oh. You can now yeah. rant for four okay. minutes about the Great Door debate. Okay, so. Explain the situation. I'll, I'll okay, the, the um, situation is you want to open a door. Now you can either, you know, do a normal thing. Grab the I don't handle. Know why Mike does, does Twist the, the handle normal, and open it. Open it. Or you could strap an explosive to your leg, and then as soon as and as soon as the explosive touches the door, blow it up. Now the question is: Is it you opening the door, or is it the explosion? You opening don't need the, door? the explosive. The same question could be asked by throwing a ball at the door. <laughs> in, in a more simplified version. Let's say a door is half open, okay, and I want to so open it all the way. Did the glove open the door? Yeah, you open the door still, and you use something to open it. So which op- did you open the door? You did open the door. Peter, what do you think? It's slightly easier. You caused the explosion, and the explosion caused the door to open. So you didn't open the door? The explosion did? You just caused the explosion? So you indirectly opened the door. You indirectly opened the door. I think you directly opened the door. So you get away with it. Because, like... But the, yeah, we can liken this to using a glove as the same exact like reasoning. Is the glove opening the door, or am I? Well, with that, um, I guess you're still doing you're the pu- motion. Yeah, you're pushing. You, if I you, throw a ball at a door, the, is the, the ball is, opening it, or am I opening it? It would be the bottle because the bottle is the one carrying the force, and you just caused the force to open yeah, the door. Can I bring in a new aspect? Who, yeah, yeah, you, you, that's what I'm saying. I'm you saying would, that wouldn't you have happened without you. So yes, obviously. You. I'm gonna let y'all yell for a second. For you guys, any opinions on this? I don't know. They're really intense about it. I'm sure they can hear this in the background of the episode. I said it, dep- it depends on the circumstance because the door may be barricaded in, so I may need to use a force. So or but like if you if you use a bomb, did you open it or did the bomb open it? Is it? I am non-existent at that point. But you caused the bomb to go off. The button caused it, therefore you. What if, what if I was forced to? You can hear the debate in the background happening. This is getting heated. Almost as heated as that explosion. Oh my God. Any uh, Miguel? Yeah. That's a sick doodle. I, I know yeah. Any opinions on the door situation? Yeah. I think they're overcomplicating it. I do too. There's a lot of yelling going on there. Did y'all reach a consensus? Let's say I paid someone to open the door. No, I don't care about this. Everybody talking about it. Hold on. Let me go. Let me. Let me go.
What if I paid someone to open the door? Is he opening the door or am I opening the door? Well, I'm still making him open the door because I'm giving him money and an incentive. It would be the other guy that opened the door. But had Miguel not paid him, he wouldn't have opened the door. I think the other guys would... I don't think we're reaching a consensus at this point. You have a minute left. You're just pretending being my parents. We can hear you yelling in the background of that entire clip, by the way. Um, cool. And you. Did you guys reach a consensus? No, we got angry. It's just more yelling. All right, we'll take a vote. Who opened the door, Miguel? The person. The, the, okay. I'm going to use the, the, the bomb or the person. The person. The person. He's giving the idea. The person? Uh, the person. Man. The persona. No, the person. <laughs> okay. I'm talking on my Spanish, guys, okay? Four. So we can't... No, it's not. Because it's, that's, that's four. There's still six here. <laughs> okay, well, all of these are for persons. Person. Person. Oh, person. Obviously. Bomb. Okay, so oh, bomb. Two, okay, two bomb. Three. Tony, what's your opinion? Oh. I, I think it it's absurd. Matter. I literally, I don't have one. I, did, I mean, Mr. Gunty, do you want to put your opinion no, in? No, no. No, he does I not. I that. <laughs> oh, that's a bottle. Okay. So, yeah, um, it seems like the, the person opened the door. Yeah, obviously. The, the arguments were about even, so um, I don't think it, it, you're, you're very against this. You seem very dissatisfied, though. Yeah, I probably it's On that person. note, we'll close the episode. Thank you all so much for listening. I've been your host, Anthony. Guys, it's over. I'm trying to close the episode. I'm Anthony Farg, your host. Give us $200 in taxes. Mm-mm. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. If you give us the money, we can test this out. No! We're not yes. blowing up a door. No, Wait, what am I doing? At close. Oh, yeah, it's still on. Kanye. Um, camera. Help him, please. Help him. Please, somebody help him. Somebody. And our supreme unallied leader, give him a closer. Take care. Take care, all y'all. And wear your seatbelts. Oh, yeah. Bye.